Why are you spending money on that shit, folks? In any case, oral L-carnitine. L-carnitine actually does have fat loss potential. The problem is through the oral absorption route gets highly degraded. Your gut bacteria actually uh, eat the shit out of it, which they love. They're lean, ripped. Your gut bacteria has like a missed upper colon 2025. You're like, damn, dude, this is, who's drug testing these bacteria? That's good for them. Not great for you because you end up with almost nothing that going to your actual muscles and going to fat loss mechanisms. So that really sucks. The mechanism here is that ostensibly L-carnitine, or not ostensibly, in reality, transports long chain fatty acids into mitochondria where they would be oxidized, burned up, and then you don't have to have them on your body anymore. But unfortunately, much of that doesn't get into your actual fat areas. It just stays in your gut and gets eaten by gut bacteria. You can inject L-carnitine if it's prepared properly, but she's uh, injecting so much anyway. Call that. $220 million in 2024 made from this. Here's the deal. Reality-wise, oral carnitine produces about 1.3 pounds of extra fat loss and no reliable lean mass bumps. It doesn't grow muscle. That's okay. Not every supplement has to try to grow muscle. 1.3 pounds of extra fat loss over 12 weeks is at 12% of terzepatide's power. Why are you spending money on that shit, folks? You could. You could. But is it a waste of your money? Probably.